there are two phrases that I want you to write down. I want you to read again and again and again and again and again until you can recite it, until you own it, until it's a part of your DNA. You should be able to recite it word for word the same way you could recite your name if somebody says, say, hey, what's your name? Oh, my name is such and such and such. That's how easy these two statements should flow off of your tongue because it is deeply embedded in your subconscious mind. It impacts your wiring and it manifests how you function, how you think, how you respond, how you react it becomes a part of your internal compass that guides your life. Statement number one, my greatest enemy is in a me. It is inside me. My greatest enemy is in a me. Okay. So enemy, E-N-E-M-Y. In a me is I N hyphen A hyphen M E. Enemy, in a me. My greatest enemy is in a me. So therefore, I can't point at situations, circumstances, people, places, and things because what I'm doing is I'm making something, someone, or somewhere outside of myself, outside of me responsible for my life. That is a victim mentality. It's the government. It's the way I was raised. It's because I'm black. It's because I'm a man, because I'm a woman. You know, it's because of my age. It's because of my level of education. It's because of the side of the tracks that I grew up on. These are all excuses. Excuses are the tools of the weak and the incompetent and those who use them are seldom capable of anything else. They rely on excuses, and that is a mental disease, excusitis. <laughs> and so by believing that my greatest enemy is in me, I've gotta look at myself. We point the finger at everyone else not realizing that their three fingers pointing right back at us, which implies that we've gotta look at ourselves three times as hard, three times as, <coughs> excuse me, long, as we do everyone and everything and everywhere else. That means that I am now responsible for who I am and what I'm experiencing. So if I'm broke, I created it. If I'm unhealthy in my body, it's because I created it. If I have a bad relationship, I created it. If I'm in a situation and I'm caught between a rock and a hard place, I created it. Now, did I want these things to happen? No, but my wiring, my habits, my behaviors brought me to this place. Someone once said that today is built on yesterday and tomorrow is built on today. So the things that I did yesterday will impact my today and the things that I do today will ultimately impact my tomorrow. So wherever I am, whatever my circumstances are, something in my past, something that I've been doing consistently, whether aware of it or not, has brought me to this place. And I can't, I can't blame anybody. I can't call on anybody. Because if no one's available, if no one has the resources, if no one's willing to do it, I can't be mad at them because they didn't get me here. I got me here. So because I got me here, I have everything I need within me to take me out of this. So my greatest enemy, the source of my problem, the source of my conflict, my struggles, all of those things, my addictive thinking, my addictive feeling, which is drenched in negativity, my negative perspective, right? The, the lens, the scope that I look through in terms of how I see the world. I'm pessimistic. I'm cynical. I think everybody's out to get me. Nobody means me any good. That is all self-inflicted. That is all from within. That is not the reality. That is someone's perception of their reality. And oftentimes, one's perception is not consistent with fact. But if you believe something so much so, it becomes your fact. Interesting. So, statement number one. My greatest enemy is in a me. 
Statement number two, the key to my mastery is to master me. I'll say that again. The key to mastery is to master me. So I want to be a master chef. I want to be an excellent athlete. I want to excel and be in the top 10% in my school, on my job. I want to be an entrepreneur who's independently wealthy. I want to do this. I want to do that. It requires a level of mastery in whatever area or sphere that you are delving into. But your mastery of a thing is predicated upon your self mastery. It is mastering me. Example, if I know I want to be a top athletic uh, performer who performs on the world stage, well, I've got to be disciplined, but I'm not. You know, I wake up late, I stay up late, I eat bad, I don't go into the gym and work out, I don't have a regimen, so therefore I have no self discipline. And until I master my own life in the area of discipline, until I master my own life in terms of how I eat, in terms of how much sleep I get, in terms of what I listen to, in terms of the environment that I place myself in, in terms of the relationships that I have, until I master me, I can't master anything outside of myself because everything that I do is an extension of who I am. So if I'm lazy, if I'm slothful, if I'm I'm never on time, I'm always late, if I'm a procrastinator, whatever your issue is, because we all have them, whatever that is, that will impact how you do what you do. And how you do what you do determines what you have. You see that? So if I'm always just three minutes late, I was just three minutes late, no big deal. But successful people show up five minutes early. I'm in trouble. Successful people say to be on time is to be late, but to be early is to be on time. But my thing is, as long as I'm there within my grace period, I'm good. <clears throat> it's just like paying a bill. Well, I know I got a five day grace period before it's technically late. So I get in the habit of paying late, even though I'm in my grace period, right? So I'm not gonna be charged the fee because I'm in my grace period. But I, I, I am habitually training myself, wiring myself to not pay on time. Successful people, wealthy people pay on time and guess what? They get nervous if they haven't paid by the first. They'll come in and pay on the 27th, the 28th, the 29th. It's a habit. It's, it's, it's a part of their self DNA. So the key to mastery in finances is to master me. The key to mastery on my job is to master me. The key to mastery in education is to master me, whatever it is. The key to mastery is to master me. So once again, statement number one, my greatest enemy is in a me. Statement number two, the key to mastery is to master me. What are the, what's the operative word here? Me. It's me, it's me, it's me, oh Lord, standing in the need of prayer. Not my mother, not my father, but me, oh Lord, standing in the need of prayer. Remember that song? Oh yeah, it's me. So when I begin to look internally, when I begin to close my eyes, because my eyes allow me to see outward. But when I close my eyes, my, my spiritual eyes allow me to see inward. And when I begin to work on that, getting rid of my greatest enemy and mastering me, that unlocks the key to the world.